there's a part of me that thinks, could we rethink politics in this this day and age? You know, is is, is contemporary government really fit for purpose? There are a lot of things that I think this pandemic has thrown up that will hopefully make um, the world think more clearly about what it needs to do. In this ideal world, we we don't measure GDP and income. We, we measure empathy, global empathy, quality of life. We make our decisions using those that that information. Well, I believe in politics. I, I believe uh, I believe in in representative democracy and I believe that representative democracy is best when it's informed so I welcome this sort of project I welcome people writing down on postcards what their vision is and then I I welcome civil servants and activists and and, and stakeholders and interest groups actually putting down fleshed out proposals No, I, I really like the, the idea of the, the people taking it back, you know, the people power. I mean, lo long term, there's, there's actually a role for the Isle of Man and some of the other the Crown Dependencies, but I think the Isle of Man particularly, because of where it is geographically in the Irish Sea, um, to, uh, to be a, a source of... Uh, you know, new thinking, if you like, about how the British Isles, and I include the Republic of Ireland here, um, how the British Isles can, can manage its way into the next decades and even century. Supporting certain industries by making sure that there are clean, green alternatives and the, the money is directed in those ways rather than in, in traditional ways. I would say that the Isle of Man is ideally placed to have a fantastic human rights record. And that's the other thing, I, the, the other fascinating thing about the, the lockdown and in fact the whole pandemic as it now is because the world is so connected, is it's shown into sharp relief the fiction about money. Suddenly, from a period of austerity when we couldn't actually spend anything, there's more money than you've ever seen being thrown at, paying people to stay in jobs. I would love to see an Isle of Man that uh, doesn't measure itself by GDP, uh, measures itself by something like the Happiness Index, the Wellness Index, something like that. I'm trying to wind up that England and Wales have very good uh, law relating to children. The Isle of Man has very good law relating to children, but very poor implementation of that law. And my, I would be delighted in the future to see some change in that attitude. I hope that although the island's done tremendously well and we should be so proud of that, I hope that it doesn't create an insular nation and I think that the island, I would love for it to be able to continue pushing ev everything that it can be proud of um, globally and, and across the, the world and encourage and continue to encourage um, global links to the island. Think big on a small island, and why can't the rest of the planet be the Isle of Man?